Good morning, SBC. It is Tuesday morning, and it's an awesome day for you and I to be into the ministry of the gospel right here in Hopkinsville and Christian County. Now, I want to encourage you today to quit your worrying. I know that you probably went to bed last night with something that was heavy on your heart. You probably woke up this morning with a worry that was heavy on your mind. And the scripture tells us that nothing could be further than the truth from what God wants in your life. He teaches us to turn loose of worry. Now, how does he do that? Well, he teaches us to let go of worry by putting our trust in him. And you say, well, you know, sometimes I just can't see him. And because I can't see him, I I just don't trust what's going to happen. Because I can't put my hands on him, I, I just, I'm not sure that I can trust what's going to happen. We want to control these things. But the truth is, control is such a myth or even a hallucination of our minds. Think about the thing that you control most, which would be your finances. You control your finances. You have your own bank account, you have your own checking account, you have the money that's in your wallet. You're in control of a lot of those things, but the truth is you're not. You see, the the money that you've got in your pocket, whether it's a a bill or it's a coin, it actually is not of value. The only value that it carries is the value that the government states it has. And so that's why they say the dollar is up or the dollar is down, because the value of a dollar is not certain It's based on the promise of a government. So the value of that piece of paper and the value of that coin is not solid. It's not controlled. It actually has no foundation outside of the word of mankind. As a matter of fact, we even now have a thing called cryptocurrencies. And a cryptocurrency is one that doesn't have a bill or a coin. It's just literally, it's a mathematical algorithm and, and they've attached value to it. And because that attached value can go up and go down, cryptocurrencies can skyrocket in value and they can plummet to be worth nothing. And people invest in these things and, and they, they stockpile in these things when the truth is there's nothing behind it of substance. The very things that we hold in our hands don't actually have substance. The very things that we put onto the computer don't actually have substance but we have trusted those things for a long time. We've put our trust in those things for a long time. And so we assume that they're solid and they're not. Jesus says the only solid thing that we have in our life is God. And we put our faith in him, that he loves us, that he cares for us, and that he will ultimately do what is best for us. We can let go of the worry because he backs the promise. It's not a government saying it so. It's not an algorithm saying it so. It's our God saying this is true. Take a listen. Over in Matthew in chapter six, Jesus writes this, or he doesn't write this, I say, I'm sorry. He speaks this and Matthew records it. He says, so do not worry saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Jesus says, listen, everybody is running to grab hold of something they think they can trust to help them overcome the worry that they have. But you already have the thing that you need to trust, and that's God. He holds tomorrow, and he already has taken care of what's coming. You put your trust in him, take your steps in obedience to him, and allow him to take care of your needs. God, God is in charge. And there is no one of greater substance than he. I hope you have a great day. In fact, make it a great day, SBC. And I'll look forward to catching up with you again real soon. Right here at Second Baptist Church.